Hi, uh, this is Peter Detmer, Madison College, and uh, today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use RS Links as a gateway to read and write information from a PLC to Microsoft Excel. Um, so let me quick explain my setup here. I'm running a Logix 5000 emulate. There's a processor in slot one. I created some code in Studio 5000 that uh, um, basically a free running timer that uh, you know, every 1500 milliseconds increments with the done bit coming on a counter value. Um, also have a retentive timer that keeps track of the total runtime um, of this uh, environment. Uh, further down I'm moving some values from the timer accumulated value into an array and also the accumulated value of a counter into an array. This last instruction, GSV, is a get system value. Here I'm pulling the walk clock time, and the attribute of that is the date time portion I'm interested in. I'm moving that into the GSV CTU array, starting in element zero. So uh, my element zero, if you go and look at the tags here, uh, you can see element zero is the first element. The first seven, zero through six, are used to pull the date timestamp from the processor. Seven is going to be used for the accumulate value of the timer and eight for the counter accumulate value. And uh, on the Excel side, um, which we're going to get to in a second, uh, I have uh, some code created uh, and links created uh, that allow me to read information from these values and also write information into these values. Uh, so the very first thing you have to do is, is an RS Links Gateway, you have to set up a DDE topic. Uh, I've did this previously, uh, I'm going to show you just what I have here, you can see this FTV Lab 1, it's currently locked because it is in use by Microsoft Excel. Uh, but the way you set it up is you just uh, can create a new lab if you want to, a new topic, and you point it to the processor where the data lives. Uh, on the data collection side then you specify the processor type and how frequently the data should be pulled. So for me that's one second. Um, the very first thing you can do is to try and see that you have a valid connection um, and data is you can use the edit link and copy the DDE OPC link. When you do this we get this copy DDE and it's using RS links as an OPC server. You can find the topic that you created earlier, which is my FTV Lab 1. Uh, I'm online, I already downloaded my project earlier, and when I click through, you can find the tags inside my processor. And uh, for example, I'm using uh, the CTU accumulated value. So if I select this now and simply close, it will copy and paste this into memory. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to open up Excel. You can see it's already developed. I'm going to go into what these different areas are later. But if I click on any field and go to Paste and Special and select Paste as a link, it's going to put this value in here. And up here you can see using RS links, this topic, pull this tag information and write it in length one and uh, um, C1. Uh, since it's currently zero, it's showing zero for it. Uh, I've done this uh, previously, so I have the same setup here. If I click on this cell, you can see it's the same link to the same piece of information in the PLC. Here I have the link to the TUN uh, accumulated value. So I'm going to just delete this and uh, now download my project. And you can see everything is zero right now. Um, I have a uh, internal bit here that prevents the timer from uh, starting to run. I'm downloading into slot one my emulate PLC. I'm not using any digital inputs and output from my uh, simulated input output card. So you can see nothing is happening right now. Um, here my production hold, if I toggle this using control T, 
um, now I have this timer starting. And you can see the accumulated value in Excel is starting to uh, change. Uh, the RTO is not updating yet. That's because the timer is done because I have no preset in here. So just like I was able to uh, pull information in real time from the PLC, I can also write information to the PLC. So I'm going to explain what I have here later, but uh, this field um, is a value. It's going to be written into the preset of the TON, uh, one bit, uh, one tag. This is uh, the preset for the counter uh, CTU one. So I can make these values up however I want to. And uh, um, then click my set pre button. And you see over here, these values are written into the fields. So here's my preset and here's my preset for the counter. Uh, you can see the timer isn't timing yet because it was done, it never got reset. So what I can do is I uh, have a bit here, an internal bit called reset, uh, which is tied uh, to this button. I'm going to explain what this button uh, is made up of. So if I write a one in here as a bool, I can click reset that turns my bit on, which resets my accumulate value in both timer and counter. Then release it by putting a zero into the field and pressing reset again. And now you can see I'm accumulating data in my Excel spreadsheet in real time. Now that is something that uh, uh, is good to test that you have connectivity and everything works, but it's probably not really what you want to do. Typically in an industry setting, you want a snapshot. You want to create a uh, uh, um, timestamp and then a value at that time. So I have a separate button here that will pull the year, month, day, hour, minute, second, and millisecond, as well as the current count value and the current time value from this uh, PLC project. And uh, real quick, the way this GSV is set up is, again, here's my wall clock time. Uh, the date time portion is being pulled. And you can see here, you have to put the first element in as a destination. If I go into my controller tags and show you this, here is my 2020, uh, April 24th, um, and this is hours, 1600 minutes, seconds, and milliseconds, and here is my current uh, value for the uh, counter accumulate value and here for the timer accumulate value. Uh, and I'm using move instructions to move these into the array elements 7 and 8. Uh, so when I click this button, it's going to give me a quick confirmation that, hey, yeah, data was logged. I'm going to click OK, and here's my snapshot. Uh, if I click this again, it's going to insert a new column, therefore shifting this over to the right and uh, creating a new date time stamp with the current count value and timer value. So. To see how this is all done and set up, you have to go into um, the developer tab. So if you don't have this developer tab, you may have to right click and customize your uh, toolbar and check the box for the developer. Um, that's a separate, uh, you know, you can look up how to do that if you're not familiar with it. But when you click the developer tab, you have access to the Visual Basic side of Microsoft Excel. When I click this, it opens up in a separate window and uh, it's basically VBA, Visual Basic for Applications. And uh, when you create these buttons, you have the option of uh, uh, creating a, uh, a link through the app, which is RS Links to the topic, which is my FTV lab one. And then, uh, you know, you can uh, say, what is it you want to write to in this project? And I want to write to the TON1.PRE. Then you say, what is it you want to write? You're going to say, look at my worksheet, sheet one, and then field B14. So if we look at uh, my Excel spreadsheet here, uh, here is 14 and it's column B and B16, you can see is referenced here. I am opening up the 
connection again every time you didn't have to do that but uh, I'm writing to this DDE yeah data item uh, from this worksheet one field B16 so here's my reset function my reset button and uh, since I'm writing to um, you are uh, specifying again the connection yeah to RS links to the topic and uh, what tag you want to write to and which value and the value is specified right here in B18 which is again this value right here uh, then the uh, button that allows me to collect data collect information is this collect data uh, command button uh, so here um, is uh, some commenting um, I want to first insert a blank column so that's just a simple Excel VBA command uh, and the you know inserting at K1 and they're going to insert the entire column then I want to pop our message it says data logged uh, then I want to open up the DDE link to Excel and uh, again this is my RS links FTV lab one then uh, I want to say get some data and store this in a variable uh, so I'm opening up uh, the this is my variable data and it should contain the value from this tag GSV CTU array element 0 as the first element and the nine uh, complete elements after that uh, so it's going to pull this into memory and then using the paste command uh, I'm gonna say paste it into this file demo lab 6 off campus xlsm which is an excel file that allows macros into sheet 1 into columns k4 through 12 and what value should go there the one that you stored in data just earlier uh, then you close the channel and that finishes it up so that's uh, what we have going on here and uh, uh, you can do quite a bit uh, and again it's often used to do some very simple data collection uh, but in order for this to work you have to have uh, a PC connected to your uh, project that's running RS links so uh, there are other options to collect data offline or onto a memory card but uh, this uh, particular example is designed to utilize uh, Excel RS links and Studio 5000 that's available to you on a computer and uh, um, again just to quickly demonstrate I can change these values uh, to anything I want and uh, change them by clicking the set PRE and you can see here the preset changed here my preset changed um, and uh, if I wanted to reset these values let's say a shift change occurs I can go in here type a one in here I'm just going to scroll down and show you here's my reset I'm going to click reset which makes it true and resets the accumulated values of the RTO on the counter and uh, in order to collect new data I have to put a zero into my reset so that this is no longer true I can start accumulating new values um, I'm going to go to program mode here briefly and uh, just show you in this Excel spreadsheet how you would start uh, with a new button so one of the things you can do is uh, while in um, Excel there uh, the developer tab there's an insert mode you can insert controls so you can insert a button when you do this you draw the button and uh, then you can create a macro for it so you can see this button click 8 um, so I can click OK here here's my button 8 now so now I could go to my visual basic command and uh, um, create a new subroutine referencing this button click 8 um, this information was found on a Rockwell Automation tech note uh, that uh, talks about uh, pulling information uh, through RS links so this portion came from them I just modified it to match my processor my tags my DDE topic uh, and the field where I wanted to write these into 
Um, these items also came from a um, RS Links, I'm sorry, Rockwell Automation Tech Note that gave you example of uh, just this section where uh, you open up the path and uh, um, where it should be written to. And uh, that's it. Uh, there's a lot to it to make this work. You have to be very careful of your syntax. Uh, you have to make sure you match all your tag names, uh, DDE topic names, project names, and that everything is uh, configured as a controller tag. Otherwise, it's not accessible as easily uh, through Microsoft Excel. All right, that's it. Thank you.